One of our towers down here in Rolla, Missouri has two tiers of FTS 370s now. If you're wondering what the old beacon setup was, uh, it had two tiers of older night mode only LEDs. It's been like that for like um, 2010 or some, something like that, I don't know. It's, it's had old LEDs for a long time. And it used to have um, side markers too, two sets of them. But now it has two sets of, um, two tiers of FTS 370s. I don't know if they're um, dual or night mode only. I'm not too sure about that. I don't know if I'll be able to come out here tomorrow, during day at least, because I gotta go to work tomorrow and I also gotta babysit my dog, so. I'll have to find out some other time. But that's definitely different. I mean, for me at least, the, I always don't on tower for having older LEDs, so this is definitely new. Well, there's that. Well, one day I hope I can get a, um, a close-up night mode video of it. That one cell tower that was stuck in backup night mode for a few days, it's no longer stuck in backup night mode. Well, I mean, not stuck, but like it, it went into backup night mode for a couple days instead of normal night mode. Well, it's going back to normal night mode. Right, not paying attention. So there's that. There's all four towers. So, um, the tower from last night. Um, I'm, I'm up close to it at day. And guess what? It has a day mode now, and not only that, but the top, there's two FTS 370s on top. Back then there's only one beacon up there, just one night mode only LED. And then below here, down here, um, there's two LEDs here, two FTS 370s. So back then, for the longest time it had three night mode only LEDs with a FH324 20 flash minute night mode, if you know what I'm talking about. And it also had two tiers of side markers, one for each one for each tier of beacons. But just this recently, it just it got replaced with four FTS 370s, dual FTS 370s too. So um I mean, I like how there's two beacons on top. That's definitely new. I like that a lot. So, I'm not as and I I I, I will miss the fact that this tower used to, um, to, used to only shine red. Now it has a day mode and it's a little weird, so, um, but I'll, I'll get used to it very fast, don't worry. But I'm not, I don't like how it does have sign markers anymore, I, I do miss that. The sign markers made the tower look so much cooler at night. But at least I got a video of it at night with this old LED beacon setup. So that's pretty cool. Alright, well, there's that. See you guys later, and bye. Here it is again, but from my but closer to my neighborhood. So I'm a little far away from it. See, it's day mode and all that stuff. Despite it having two beacons on top, it doesn't look that much brighter. Just look like, looks like it only has one on top. I don't really see any difference, but I'm glad we finally have a tower in Rolla with two beacons on top instead of just the usual one. It's that one FAA rule because of tall antennas and whatever else. But I didn't notice any big antennas that could obstruct the beacons. So it's a little weird, I guess. Maybe it has to do with the height of the tower, I don't know. As it gets darker, the LEDs look much brighter now. Did you see that? That was pretty cool. It's a shame it has no um, side markers anymore. It would be cool if they were flashing. Yo, this tower has new LEDs for like a, at least a solid week. 
and now you're telling me they're faulty? Where's day mode? Yo, know, so if you remember how I was in the past, I was a, um, a very big LED hater. I just blindly hated all LEDs, despite them being the superior type of beacon than the others. Um, but I'll tell you this right now, um, this tower's old beacon setup would never do this. Um, I have no idea. Oh, that just happened. Oh, and the other tower's on day mode too, yes, you can see. Um, so, uh, this tower is not on day mode, nor is it on night mode. Um, like I was saying, this old beacon setup would never do this. It wouldn't just cease to stop, just cease to work, you know, cease to function. This, um, this tower had its new beacon set up for like at least a week, maybe longer though. I discovered it last Monday after the washer video. Um, I'm probably going to stay out here until it possibly goes into night mode because I'm just curious if the night mode at least works because if the night mode at least works then um, at least it's not a safety hazard but if the day mode and night mode don't work then that's just a safety hazard at least the tower is red and white so it doesn't really need a day mode um, but uh, it needs night mode it's very humid out here too I also had the screen dim too yeah, it's humid and it's getting on the camera. You know, I've been out here for quite some time and it's gotten darker. Um, the one tower's on night mode now. Uh, so this tower, the beacons are still not flashing. And I'm pretty sure it, it would go in night mode at this time. It's dark enough. I remember it being this dark last time I caught it on a, a caught it going on night mode. So, um, I don't know what's going on. Uh, my camera is getting a little blurry because um, it's humid out here and everything's getting, um, everything's getting that center, you know. Camera's getting a little blurry because because uh, it's very humid out here. I think it's safe to assume that the beacons are just not working right now. Yo, I really hope that this tower's not going to go through some phase where, um, where the beacons won't work for like a year or so, and then they get fixed, and then they don't work again. Cause that happened to, um, that happened to another tower that's actually close to this tower here. Close to Love's and my grandparents' house. You know, um, that tower used to have an FH-324 and then it was replaced by an FGS-370, or that's what I believe. And then for, for, um, like a year or something, day mode stopped working and it only went to night mode. Then um, that beacon got replaced with a new LED, and it only worked for like I don't know, not too long. And then it just stopped working. No day mode, no night mode, and it's still not flashing. Well, I mean, it's being blocked by trees now, but I can guarantee you, it's not flashing. Yo, you see that water tower down in the distance? That's where um, that's where the tower is. It's, it's it's right. It's like I mean, not right next to a water tower, but very very close. As you can see, it's um, yeah, it's it's not it's not flashing. It's been like that for like a year or more. Uh, let's hope that this tower, I mean, let's hope that the uh, the FJ three seventies on it start working tomorrow or sometime soon, because this is a little safety hazard, you know. You know, it's been like at least three days, I think, and the beacons are still not working, as you can see. Well, now that they're not working, I do kind of miss the old beacons now. You know, the tower used to just stand there with, with no flashing day mode. But then at night, it'll, it'll flash red, you know. That was nice, but it doesn't do that anymore. It flashes white and red now, since so it has a day mode. And those towers, they're doing fine. Well, the tower's on now. I mean, the beacons are flashing. The beacon. I, I can't speak. Oh, yes, there's also a fire truck and apparently another one down there, I guess.